welcome back to PBR TV. Today we are in MDL's Cobbs Key Marina in uh, Poole. We're here with our Axopar 28, but we're also here with Paul Gatzel of Powerboat Training UK. You may have seen our online uh, tuition courses where we were doing um, live streaming top tips to help people get started boating and get going. Well, um, we're doing it a little bit more face-to-face -face this time rather than over webcams. Absolutely, it's great to be actually back together doing actually the sessions again because the sessions earlier in the year were great. Uh, classroom sessions on charts, tides, voyage, but actually being back near the water's brilliant. Yeah, exactly. So for people that um, haven't seen the streams that we did together, um, tell everybody a little bit about Powerboat Training UK. Yeah, well, we're an RA training centre. We train people to drive powerboats, motorcruisers, jet skis, be they leisure users, commercial, military. Um, and it's taken them from courses like Powerboat Level 2, starting out with boating through to advanced level cruising type courses. So the whole range, really. Great stuff. OK, so let's go through our top tips and hopefully people will find it of use and uh, be safer on the water. Yeah, too right. So you may own a rib and you're stepping into a hard boat or uh, you're buying a sports boat maybe for the first time and you want to know what's the best way to tie up a fender. So Paul, can you talk us through the right way rather than just lots of knots? Well, sort of lots of knots does actually work, Tom, in fairness. But uh, we've got two main ways really of actually tying or attaching a fender to a rail here. Uh, what we've got here is we're using a clove hitch. Um, now clove hitch, if I show you how we tie that, just undo it from uh, the rail. So we start off by putting it over the top and then crossing, going towards Tom here and actually coming up through that gap. And you can see a clove hitch is defined by the way that line sort of crosses over the other two. And the great things about a, a clove hitch are that we can easily lower that fender or we could easily raise it up. So a clove hitch is really good because it's quick and we can raise and lower that fender really quickly when we come alongside, which is quite often what we need to do to adjust the fender relative to the height of the pontoons. But it's not necessarily the most secure insofar as if the fender's coming under some load here alongside the pontoon over time, it could break free. So we've got an alternative, um, and that alternative is known as a round turn and two half hitches. So in this case, we go over the top of the rail and we come round again. Come through that underneath the rail, and then we do so that's the round turn. Then we do the half hitches coming through that gap and then again through that gap. And that's a much more secure knot. So clove hitch, we're coming into a marina, putting your fenders at the right height, ready to adjust them. Round turn, two half hitches when you're going to leave the boat for a while and go away from it. And that really locks it in, doing that double uh, turn. Yeah, absolutely. And a round turn, two half hitches is a really secure knot. One of the great things about it is even if that was under lots of load, I can still actually untie that knot. So as long as I sort of hold there on the turn, we'll be able to actually hold that load that's coming onto it. So it's a really great knot to, to know. And it's one of the three main knots really you need to do uh, as a basic boater. Clove hitch, round turn, two half hitches, and a bowline. So there are three key knots you need as a power boater. Clove hitch, round turn, two half hitches, and a bowline. And a bowline's a really great knot. It's basically putting a loop in the end of a line. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in a nice simple way with a nice little story. So a good way to do it is hold it as a bit of a square. You can see the sort of distance I've got here, thumb and forefinger, and then just take my right hand and move it towards my left hand and fold a loop in. We've then got what we'd like to refer to as a rabbit. What do rabbits do? Rabbits come up holes in the morning they go around the back of the tree and then they go back down a hole. As they go back down the hole, we hold on to these two bits. We hold on to the tree part of it, tighten up. And what we've got there is a bowline and we can put it under lots of load. And then all we need to do to undo it is to break the back of it. So it could be under huge amounts of load. And all we need to do is fold that back, that bit there, and it will actually break down. And the way we can use that loop is a couple of different ways. We could use it maybe to join two lines together, or maybe we put it over the top of a cleat, either on the boat or ashore, or actually when we've got cleats like this on a boat, actually going through the center of the cleat and over those horns creates a really uh, very quick, uh, very strong way of actually tying the line or attaching the line perhaps to the boat. So a bowline, great knot to actually learn. 